Found her fingernails under your foreskin, man. There's no other choice. Just go turn yourself in, man. Matt, are we live? We have wings. Holy shit, it's episode number 24 and we've got a belter stelter coming at you right out of Michael's basement. We're downstairs, it's three stories straight down, you have to climb down a ladder, there's a hole in his room and it leads you down in this basement. There's cages. There's so many cages here, man. They're empty though. For now. Mysteriously, <laughs> every episode we come down, they're mm. empty. Yeah, because I'm fucking good. I don't keep them for too long. Mm. Exactly. Um, anyway, fucking big old episode for you. We're going to reveal a secret we've been hiding from the public. There's a prank call at the end. We got fucking questions. We got P.O. Box. We should fucking... You know what I miss doing? Reading out people's crimes and secrets. Yeah, we, fucking we get chuck it. some of that. Oh, they can't really do it discreetly. Send it to the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast oh, for Matt. Matt to get. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, no, send it to the Fully Actual podca- um, in yeah, the, Podcast yeah, Instagram because I'll get them. Yeah, let's bring the secrets back. I miss that shit. And we haven't done a new segment for a while. We're getting a bit fucking question and German. Yeah, yeah. True. This is the Fully Actual Questions and German. Or yeah. do we need a new segment? Something fresh. Well, we're, what, we're at episode 24. We've got 16 to go. Season four, we'll completely revamp it like we normally do. We change shit up. Yeah, we'll fuck we, we, We've got to fucking get onto this hunt shit. We've been a bit lazy there. But remember, the fucking tagline of the hunt is, if it gets too hard, we, we give up. But anyway, so um, jam-packed episode, but let's just fucking get into our week because when we left you guys, we, took, we read out some of the jackass emails. We're very fucking busy. So we're in the middle of a super busy fucked week. Okay. So again, no only fans. So Matt arrived and we'll literally just still, we'd only just returned from filming for the day and we're just fucking exhausted. And I've got to go home and edit after this. So it's just like, it's fucking crazy. But we did film the Jackass promo video today. Okay. They were meant to send us the trailer like early before everyone, but everything's taking a really long time now with them, even though they wanted us to post it tomorrow. We're not gonna, we're not gonna slander them, but they've been quite difficult. But anyway, they're like, I was like, all right, well, we're filming this morning. Like, we're, we're gonna f- go ahead and film it because I've organised the shoot. We've gone and bought a trailer. We fucking organised a location. We got Greg to fucking take time off Thank out you, of Greg. his day. I love you, Greg. Right. So we've organised it. We can't wait any longer. We got to film this because like you guys want us to post this tomorrow. Anyway, um, we fucking we do it. It's not our best. So, yeah, basically, after we filmed it, we get an email from them saying, look, can you keep it on off? hold because we don't know with our legal team can let this blah, 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 blah. After we risk our we lives. We fucking pay, what, 1500 for this? How the fuck is a trailer $1,500, by the way? Hired anyway, a Yuki got off cheap. We hired a Yuki. Yeah, same. Anyway, we go down. It is terrifying because it's so steep towards the end. We didn't realize that if a trailer falls on you, you're, you're dead. probably going to die. Well, I guess we should tell them what the video idea is first. Yeah. So, they they want us to help launch the Jackass trailer. So, what we did is we bought a trailer and we launched it down a hill into a fucking pond. Do you get it? Yeah. Ha, it's fucking Very hilarious. Very good playing words. Very good. You came up with it on the spot. And then, and then anyway, so that's the video idea. We'll, we'll see if they want us to post it. We'll see if you, it, it should be out by now. Yeah. By the time you're listening to this, it should already have been out. So we'll Hopefully. go on and like, I fucking, Marty saved the video by staying in it longer than me, but I bailed out because fuck me, it's terrifying. We we're going to do another take to make it more gnarlier, even though it sort of looks pretty cool. But since we got that email, why put your life at risk for something that might yeah. not even fucking happen? exactly because right. yeah it's scary I, I couldn't believe how scary trailers are yeah and you get a lot of speed a lot of, and then it starts just fucking turning it really sharply mm. and you're just like yeah it feels like it could roll on you and all this shit anyway we're fucking we've been pumping the vids out we finished the ned's fucking brand deal we fucking the menu log shit's all done the charity giveaways underway and we're still fucking managing to fuck with each other and film some website shit <laughs> what website video is out right now I don't know. It's either Julian will choose paintball or... Oh, yeah. It's either German paintball versus or German Australian versus household. Australian households. Anyway, it's a good website video, which reminds us, this podcast, okay, is brought to you by our subscription website, okay? It's this... That funds all this, okay? So, if you want to support us, you can click the link in the description. 
get 21 days free to see if you like the videos. And if you do, you can stay on and it's like 10 bucks a month. Okay? Now that helps fund everything, right? It's videos of shit we can't post to social media, behind the scenes of our lives, just all sorts of crazy shit. It's usually like a half hour episode every week of our lives. Isn't that great, Matt? It's fucking great. You haven't signed up. You never will. Do you guys even have You're a, a fucking pig, man. Sorry. You're a fucking pig. Anyway, this podcast is also brought to you by manscaped.com, all right? If you want your male grooming products, like there's shit. I'll say it. I'll say every time I go onto their website, there's shit that I've never even heard of. And I'm like, fuck, that's a good idea. Just mm. go have a look. Fully actual 20. That's how, If you use that discount code, you get 20% off everything that you buy. So if you need new shit anyway, you may as well go get 20% off rather than go on fucking Carl's and Woolies and that, right? Two. <laughs> Plus, it arrives pretty quick too, doesn't it? It arrives within th- 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 days. Yeah, yeah something, something like that. Yeah. So fu- yeah, just so if you need one, get game. one. Help us out. We love you. Yeah, fucking help us. Help you, right? <laughs> and <laughs> vice versa. You scratch our back, I'll scratch yours, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's coming out for the prank call later on, cunt. <laughs> 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 What else has happened? What did we do on the weekend? Oh, oh. work. Filmed, filmed all fucking weekend. Yeah. God. Yeah, I got around a golf in. So I was yeah. happy on Sunday. Oh, I, I acted a bit too. Yeah, Matt was fucking, we needed, we're like, because Julian's busy editing. So like, fuck, we need, and we needed to film all these brand deals and shit. So we threw it out to our mates and fucking James and bloody man. I was fucking coming around with us all Saturday. And Matt's in fucking some of the fucking clips count too. It should be out later Just this one. week. The Ned's fucking brand deal count. And I know- I know it's a brand deal, but like, I don't know. We try and make it. We've got to do them. It's sort of, it's essential. Yeah, especially with our reach restrictions, mm. which is over in 10 weeks, yeah, by the way. it's pretty exciting. Countdown. <laughs> that, but like, other than that, we're going well, everybody. Things are going well for us, all right? Let's just hope this jackass thing comes through, all right? I got done for Rego yesterday. You didn't have a registration? Yeah, I always forget to pay it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's another have a very cranky officer. Yeah, they get pretty shitty. Oh. How out was it? 24 days or something. Ooh. Do you have to go to court? No. He yeah, I think it's four days off. Month. Yeah. Four and days like, off court. Because really? it started because I pulled up in a taxi zone trying to go to the PO box. Did you pay it now? <laughs> no, I haven't paid it yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have paid the red joke. How much was the fine? 330. 330. Yeah, wow. But like, since I was, and I was like, fuck, if I'm getting a fine, I may as well go to the PO box right next to me because. You know, worth my money after fucking. Oh wait, up. He, he pulled you up, and he, so you parked in the taxi zone. And he fined you, and then you just went about your business. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I didn't realize that if you're if I didn't realize since as, as he fucking takes forever. God, do your job quicker. You've done it that many times, and he's just standing there at his car, and then he comes back and he's still writing the ticket, and I just thought, all right. You know, he doesn't need me here. So, I'll just go to the P.O. box, which is right there. It was three meters away. And then as I get out, I get halfway to the P.O. box and I hear, it's like a teacher yelling at you. What are you doing? Get back here right now. And I was like, oh my, I, I didn't know if he was serious because I couldn't believe that someone be that mad at something so small. So, then I was like, dude, okay, okay. Like, are you serious? He's like, yes. Why are you? Why have you left your car? I'm not done with you. I was like, okay, calm down. And then once you said, tell him to calm down. That's when they start shooting. <laughs> God damn it. That pissed him off and he's yelling in my face. And then I got the phone out. I was like, yes, this is good. We're going to get him to fucking snap. He calmed down. I think he might have seen me use the phone after that. But fuck, man. Very angry police officer. I'm sorry about your past. What do they say? You never say. You never tell anyone. No, in the history of calm down, no one's ever calmed down from being. It's never to worked. Calm down. Yeah. But yeah, I wanted to hurt him. Like I wanted <laughs> to make him madder because, yeah, fuck you. I love that you tried to go to the mailbox. <laughs> yeah, I knew. Like yeah, deep down, I knew he'd be like pissed uh, off because I didn't ask for permission and oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, we're good. Yeah, we're, we're good. Apart we're good. from that, we're good. Um, all right, let's fucking um, let's read the diaries for the day. What was that? It's my secret. We have a secret to reveal later. <laughs> oh, should we? We'll reveal the secret after the questions. Yeah. Okay. Diary entry number one hundred thirty-one from Michael Corey Brookhouse. Today, I decided to throw my underwear in the bin. 
This particular pair had served me well over the last 50 days and had turned from bright red colour to a dark brown colour. It was stiff and there were crusts on it and it smelt of rotting snakes. Time to buy a brand new pair to wear for winter. (laughs) (laughs) And I remember that phase where Michael would buy a pair of underwear, wear them until they were no longer recognisable and cast them into the bin and buy another pair. What would your mum say? No, it was more socks that I'd do it with because I was not kicked out. I was... I, I, I had to move out at like 18 years old and fend for myself because my parents moved to another town. And I didn't have a washing machine. So, Greg's mum, God... She's such a lovely person. She would wash my clothes for me once every month or so. But um, yeah, socks, I just wear continuously. And my girlfriend at the time, I'd go stay at her house with her family oh. and her mom. <laughs> <laughs> she was such a cool, like, such a, she tolerated me so well. But like every time I'd pull my socks off, she'd be like, Michael, Go wash your feet in the shower. <laughs> the socks were that bad that like it just stick to my feet yeah, and they then it linger. They would literally become hard. Did you ever get tinnier and shit like that? No. I think he is tinnier. <laughs> tinnier can't you get must tinnier. Have, they should do tests on you once you die. <laughs> they should study your corpse. Yeah, because you seem to survive everything. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the yeah, it's crusty Gundies, socks. Yeah, they were definitely and some. They'd be so crusty because I only had one pair of work shoes for the deli at Woolworths, and they had holes in them, so all the meat get juice oh, and chemicals man, would get up fucked. and through your socks, and then it, it was just How never. Do you not good. have like gangrene or something? Because it's beyond me. Cancer. Oh, I've got like Cancer. really tough feet. Yeah, now you do. <clears throat> anyway, diary entry number one hundred from Marty. <clears throat> Today, I found some sandwich crusts in the boys' toilet urinal while I was hiding there from the bullies at lunch. I smiled and my cheek muscles quickly weakened because they weren't used to smiling. I grabbed the crusts out of the urinal and there was only a little bit of piss on them. It felt good to have some food in my mouth again. Today was one of the best days of my life so far. (laughs) <laughs> having a bit of piss spread oh. if you're a German kid is the best day of your life that's so fucked how old were you? oh that must have been early high school <laughs> yeah okay fucking hell Maybe 15 or something <laughs> oh that's the best day of your life at 15 so far yeah. so far <laughs> I said that Shout out to that person who left the crusts. In. <laughs> All right. Diary entry number 69 from Julian Tennyson Woods from Ashgrove, 460 till I die. Today I'll start a fantasizing about um, what's called um, tasting my own cum. I, I watch it cascade out of my fucking massive cock after fucking heaps and heaps of chicks and think, fuck, that looks creamy. Hopefully later in life there's a situation where I can like fulfill my little fantasy without making it seem like a weird little fucking fetish or something. That'd be sick ass. Ha <laughs> yeah, you yeah, stab, choke, push, stab, kiss. That, that is funny because that is what fucking... That actually occurred. Julian got to... Wow, that's crazy. No wonder he was so keen on it. He got to live out his little fantasy and taste his own cum. Very good. Holy shit. I'm glad we you could do. do that for you, Julian. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was um, very some. I, I sensed a lot of eagerness from both him and Michael on that video. And that video is on the website. Obviously, we can't post that. But, yeah, we <laughs> tested to see if pineapple does make hot spunk taste better. The results. We can't. Let's not tell him. No, well, maybe we, we told him last week. I swear my memory's all fishy. It works. There. All right. Anyway. All right. <clears throat> Matt's turn. And I've read half of it and like, yeah, this is shit. That you, I guarantee you won't know about Matt. Well, uh, it'll be, I like it. Can I'm, you just I'm tell fucking the, into him now. Tell the PG version, please. I'm just going to read it, how it's written, Aww. how you have written it personally. You, Matt <laughs> Brown. got a tear. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Fuck, man. 
<laughs> man, if I was a woman, that would be like, you'd be in jail right now. <laughs> well, you got a wig on. Like a woman. Anyway, <clears throat> diary entry number 888 from Matthew Gregory Brown. I belched into my pillow and lay my head exactly on the same spot. I smelt the subtle scent of the band-aids I was chewing earlier. I found them on a playground last night during my midnight stroll. As I was drifting off to sleep, my father bursts into my room. It's your brother! He's found us! Adrenaline shocked me into action and I immediately sat up, ignoring my swelling phallus. My brother had developed a strange obsession with me ever since I taught him how to masturbate when he was ten. He must have escaped from his carer and found us. I grabbed my emergency bag and followed my father downstairs. I caught a glimpse of our front lawn out the window and there, standing in the moonlight, was my brother, Queston. I <laughs> I fought to control my panic and ran to the back door. My father unlocked it and standing there was my brother, Queston. Queston, you need to leave, shouted my father. Queston pushed my father backwards and he fell onto his back. My brother stood over him and undid his fly. I had to intervene. <clears throat> Stop, Queston. It's me you want. Queston looked up at me, and I saw that that same familiar lust in his eyes. We started circling each other in the kitchen, not breaking eye contact. Looks like it's time for a fuck fest. My brother ran at me, and I lowered myself and wrapped my arms around his waist and lifted him up. I felt him fiddling for my asshole as I held him up, so I slammed him into the ground. He was winded, but still managed to push me off, wrestle me onto my back, and sit on my chest. He started slapping me hard. He slapped me over and over until I felt myself falling unconscious. I had to act fast. With my last ounce of strength, I thrust it up with my hips and sent him flying over my head. I immediately turned and jumped on his back. I was in control now, and my little brown sensed it. I had my brother in a headlock and be from behind, and my little brown started snaking its way out of my pants and into his. My little brown parted his cheeks and burrowed deep into his colon. I kept my grip around his neck tight. He was struggling and screaming as my hot, matte magma began <laughs> filling him. After a few more thrusts, my my nuts were completely emptied and I relaxed. Me and my brother stood, sweating and hurt. We shook hands. I will make you mine one day, said Queston. And with that, he left and ran straight back to his car. I got lucky this time. But the day will come where Queston is more powerful than I. I need to move house as soon as possible. Goodbye, diary. For now I must hide you. I shall return as soon as I am safe. He shook hands with him. His name's Question. Hot Matt Magma. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine all that shit unfolding. And then after it's a firm handshake. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A gentleman's agreement. Oh. I don't remember, but dad didn't intervene at all. No, well, he got pushed over hard by the sounds he of it. He must have been unconscious. Oh, Queston sounds like quite a strong fellow. That was good. That was good. Very good. <laughs> How long have we been traveling for, my master? Um, oh. oh, I've got 35 minutes on the thing, but it's probably, we've probably covered about 28. Okay. That is correct. correct. Question. So now, um, guys, if you want us to answer your fucking questions, you got to comment them right on our Muddy Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. And the most liked questions will get answered first, okay? Sometimes we answer questions, but our answers are too fucked up, so we have to cut them. So ask it again next week, and hopefully we'll ask, answer it again, okay? So have a scroll through the comments, see which ones you like, and give the ones you like a like, the ones you want us to answer, okay? Comment, 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 like, show everyone. Please subscribe, please, please show us that you like us in some way. Please, please, <laughs> please just stop listening and give it a like, and please subscribe. I want to see the numbers going up. Watch it twice. Watch it twice. Oh, fucking hell, man. I got to get back to I got to go. I got to get back to normal. Okay, let's do the questions. Um, Just a likes update for the golly bottle yeah, attempt. Right, so this is, this is 24 hours after we posted. So, yeah, what's it up to now? We're at 794. Okay, so we're at nearly 800 likes after one day. So, I'm thinking we'll probably get to like 1.2, 1.3 this week. So, next week, we need you guys that haven't to go back and like last week's 
episode, okay? Because I'm going to fucking monitor that until it gets to 3K likes. And that is how long his golly ball will be swelling with content. We added to it today. Oh, man. Julian, oh, Julian. Julian nearly threw up. Like, legit nearly threw up. He had to he, get out of the house. His gag reflex is He's so loud oh. and sensitive. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> and he gets all drippy real quick. Yeah. Like, oh. Anyway. There was something I was going to say, but I've forgotten. Something important. Something... After question time is when we're telling them about yeah. the secret. Right? Oh, the secret. Oh, well, actually, I can start with... Um, we have a few guesses of what it might be. Oh, yeah, go on. Yeah, let's read some guesses out for what you think the secret is that we're keeping from you guys. Whoops. Um, there's some good... First of all, there's some good comments around, um, around the golly bottle. Um, Shane Wilson commented uh, and said... The background photo from last week's episode looks like Michael has gone 10 rounds with a golly bottle. <laughs> which uh, got me a little giggly. Um, and someone made a suggestion. Oh. Uh, let me just find it. Oh, I can't remember who did it. Sorry, I can't find it. But they did say um, if the golly bottle doesn't get drank pretty much... You should put a little light under it, and it can be the new lava lamp. Yeah, it would be. That's, I wonder if we could great. do that. That would be because you know you don't have to stop at one bottle. You can just continue to do this now for it's the rest forever. of your life. It's a forever thing. How long is that taking to fill that bottle? I don't know. Fucking hell. after I got sick, I started it because that that's glass, when glass that phlegm started. That cup is starting to become really fucked. Picture like the cup that he uses to store it <laughs> overnight, so that and then he tops the bottle up the next morning. Is fucking like it looks like someone's just broken. Where an egg. is it? I feel like it's close. It's on that table there. Someone's broken an egg in it, and the egg's dried. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, fair. is that the cup? Yeah, it's the cup that he oh. spits in at night, so he doesn't have to open the golly bottle every time. Oh. You can't open the golly bottle because it fucked the house today. That's why Julian yeah, the was smell, the cup looks the worse smell, than the bottle. The smell was honestly like twice as bad, and it sounds like a carbonated drink when you open it. It's like, <laughs> why is that happening? There's a gases forming in there, man. <laughs> That atmosphere, which which go, which makes me think maybe this is the cure for skin cancer. Well, I was going to hope it was all cancer. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Who knows? You never know until you try. Maybe until, it's the new Big Bang. Until you smear it yeah. on a bit of toast and pretend it's butter. Yeah, it, like Oof. I'm ninety percent okay. certain it would right. probably fix cancer. <sighs> anyway, let's continue. All right. Um. So. Uh, Actually, I had four people try and guess it. So, JC Pablo guessed uh, the secret reveal for the original footage from your brief TV show that you guys had. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. We have, some of that's on our website, some of those segments. <clears throat> um, Lake McBogan, um, he said the secret was that Marty and Michael um, would have <laughs> willy sword fights as kids. No. I'm not sure why that would be the most know embarrassing children. thing. That was just a daily thing. Um, uh, Nikki, uh, she guessed that you two are secretly married and Mon is just an alibi to cover for it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Eric Bongberger, he also guessed that it was your TV show that you were going to reveal. No, because that's not a secret. But um, good, good try, everyone. Good try. You guys trying hard and commend yourselves. Put your pat on the back. Put your cat on, cat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Questions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Put your cat on the back. <laughs> it's very good as well, Tony. He's trying hard. Put your cat on the back. <laughs> Matt Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Brown's brother wants to fuck him to pieces. <laughs> Question. <laughs> Question Brown. <laughs> Is there even someone on earth actually has that name? I hope so. More than anything in the world. <laughs> Imagine if someone was actually called Question. <laughs> Question. I could see that. It sounds like question with question. It sounds like question with a lisp. Yeah, I know. I was changing it. Sounds like question. It sounds like question with a lisp. Question. (laughs) Question. Question. (laughs) Question. Anyway, questions. First question is from James Byrne. Um, 
Why did Marty get dealt such a shit hand as a kid? Some some people win, some people lose. That's the way life flows. But now I'm a happy guy. I've got great life, got great people around me, and I'm just taking it day by day. Just getting it done and getting to the end of that finish line with a smile on my face and give myself a cat on the back. <laughs> 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 uh, no. Cat on the back. All right. Next question is from John Dan Dandria Dandra. You know, it's Dan Dreyer. Dan, Dan Dreyer. Dreyer. Say it. Dan Dreyer. <laughs> He said it. Does Marty have a dissociative identity disorder? Because every time I see him with a new wig, he acts different each time. It gets crazier <laughs> yeah. and crazier. Yeah, that's what Mon was saying. I have some sort of split personality <laughs> disorder. <laughs> so maybe, I don't know. Maybe we should show... For there was a, a new one to no- already tonight. That one that's sort of getting flustered and hitting the table a fair bit. We should he fucking... was new. We should get some of the footage and show it to a psychiatrist. For an episode and see what they prescribe me. Yeah, oh, dude, they fucking they make you have everything, dude. You be in a place. They yeah. just fucking well, sign let's, anything because well, they get told to. Well, if if that's what the doctor says, I need, then I should do that. Right? <laughs> be in one of those oh, rooms. Should I do that? Should I listen to the doctor? All these right? heavy benzos. What do you think? What do you think about that? Yeah, all right. That's a good excuse. Like they might give us fuckloads of vowels, cunt. <laughs> 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 Next question. Oh. <laughs> oh, cat on the back. Um, oh. Next question is from. Uh, oh, I'm gonna stuff this up. Uh, Ronak Revenkar. Revenkar. Ronak Revenkar. Uh, this question is for Marty, Michael, and Matt. Can you guys tell us your top episodes of your podcast? He did ask for top three, but I would thought it would take too long. So I say your favorite episode yeah. each. Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard to remember because it's yeah. had so many times. It's- I did really enjoy the time Lockie and Jackson came for the final episode of last season. Oh, that was yeah. a lot of fun. Just yeah, having that's like here. our highest viewed. <laughs> and we're all seat. sweating. So yeah, yeah my, the getting receiving shit in the PO box, receiving cum in the PO box. Michael shitting himself. There's been countless heroic moments on the podcast. Mm. Some of the prank calls, like the butcher prank calls, made those episodes awesome. Fucking Pr- Pritchard. Yeah, Pritchard, Pritchard was pretty cool. Man, was- some of the story times were pretty good. Yeah, the, it's mm. fun. It was fun going over those stories for you cunts. <laughs> like, yeah. We should try and think of more because fuck. There are more. It's just, I, I think we're too scared to say those write ones. Them down. And there's also ones where like we sh- crazy shit happens, but you just forget over the years and then only something very specific reminds you like, because we were so fucked up a lot of the yeah, time. We forgot. Of- we forgot some of the sick shit we did. Michael fucked a dead chick. <laughs> Next question is from Haddon. Uh, oh. Oh, some of these last names get me. No, no, you got Paps, this. Papsits? Paps smear. Paps, Paps smear. Anyway, it's from Haddon. What's the most disgusting, most foul product you've received via the PO box? Well, as it depends on how you look at it. Yeah, people yeah. would say poo or the cum or the toenail or the fucking skin. The shit was a rough skin. one for me. I reckon it smelled <laughs> so yeah. bad. The shit was a rough one for me. Um. Fuck, the grossest thing, yeah, I'd have to probably say the shit as well. But, like, it, it was exciting. Yeah, it's different. I Sometimes st- bad is good. I was still grateful. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like... It's like shit. Yeah. <laughs> Someone else's shit, you know what I mean? And it's, that It's he, interesting. He, it's hard to do. He would have had his shit in a box and sent it to the post office to pat on the... Ca- like, it takes time to, a, to mail shit. Give yourself a cat, cat on, on the, the back. back. <laughs> Back on the cat. <laughs> a little cat on the back. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, people want the neg- segment name changes to come back. That shrill, shrill yell then reminded me. So we'll see. I might just th- throw them in every now and yeah, then. Yeah, when you're feeling it. Yeah, just when I'm feeling like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's happening? <laughs> We're all laughing. We? <laughs> oh, we've stopped to have a laugh. <laughs> uh, continue. Next question is from In the Night, Andy. <laughs> what's the long-term goal for this channel? Do you want to make it into a TV show? <laughs> continue to be a podcast? Where are you guys headed? It'd be cool to get this 
and just put it on radio. But I know that radio would never play this. This is too fucked. Who the fuck? Imagine this on radio. Can't we? It wouldn't be allowed. No, it wouldn't be allowed. So, um, yeah, we just want to we just want to grow as massive an audience as we can because the more people we have watching, the more fun it is to make to do fucking crazy shit. And the more people watching, the more ringworms, the more power we have behind the podcast, the more awesome shit we can do. You know what Imagine I mean? the hunts yeah, when the you've hunts. got like a hundred thousand oh, people. Yeah, listening. 100, 100, yeah 200. just be like, oh, and then like it's we can, months. we'd be so oh. powerful. <laughs> oh, imagine, <laughs> imagine being so powerful. You have a bad dinner at a restaurant, and you say, "Everyone, give them a bad Yelp review now." Yeah, and we- then they get two hundred thousand <laughs> bad reviews, and they get shut down. <laughs> they're out of their ass. <laughs> That's what we want. We <laughs> want that fucking power, cunt. <laughs> no no i disagree (laughs) next question is from donut films he's the guy who sent us his toenails oh michael's had him in his car oh has that been in my mouth no that was foot skin no you put the toenails in your hair no i put them in my mouth oh no it was foot skin sorry so many things god um we have been sent toenails too though Anyway, now because he sent us some fuck shit, I kind of believe that he'll do this. Um, if I send in my jar of urine, will Michael pour it into the gully bottle? <laughs> no, because then it, it fucking it, yeah, it's gotta be. It shit. It's You've gotta, gotta be, keep it look, all golly. Look, people, you can send in your gollies. Okay, we could have we could add your gollies to the gully bottle, but it has to be golly. Like, understand that you guys probably don't understand that, but like it's a science thing. Like, if we start mixing the biologies of different substances in the bottle it's not a pure clean experiment do you know yeah, what i mean it and it falsifies like, it and you know i don't want to bore you guys but it's just we're very scientific when it comes to shit like this so we're keeping it pure golly to see the health benefits all right but do a p1 do your own wee one do your He's, own different bottles he did own say a ps at the end saying he hasn't opened the jar in two weeks yeah wow. see i want to hear that when it's like two years yeah, two weeks it. is whatever. If someone has a two-year-old piss bottle, send it in, cunt. I want to fucking see it. Send it oh, in. Oh, imagine how yellow it would get. It get orange, I reckon. It orange. I reckon it get dark brown. You should see Steve-O's. Oh, did you watch that vlog yeah, with yeah, Steve? Will do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, some of them were like dark brown. Wow. Send it in, cunt. Maybe we should do that. Anyway, hmm. um, next question is from Mad Matt, and it is about Matt. Um, how long have you guys known Matt Brown, and what solidified your friendship? We met Matthew Brown. How long ago now? Fuck, it's over. Like, like 18? Years. Was that 18? I don't know. I don't think so. 19? Yeah. He I would have been, like, him, I would have been like 23. So, yeah. I probably, it's I, like 11 Probably years. 19 or 20. But anyway. And we was, met him through a good friend of ours, James. James, he was, James worked with Matt. And then James like, man, you got to check this legend out, man. He's just, he's just finished, stopped Can his stalking addiction. It? He what? said it the other day. How did James describe us? Oh, yeah. There he goes. He goes, oh, do you want to come out with me and some of my friends? He goes, they're, they're a bit like different. They like to make out with each other to impress chicks. It's a full on, it's a full on pash. <laughs> it's not even. It's just fucking... Oh it's man, just, yeah, that was straight fuck. up over mouth, tongue. They said they might that. try it with you, just just tell them no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that fucking. I was in the fucking. What, what did that night that we met in West End? We yeah, went you went into the Seven Eleven, was busting chip packets in front of the guy to make me laugh. And then I got in the boot of the car. Yeah, I got a video of that. Yeah, fucking, fucking and then, yeah, and then we just started from there and fucking kept hanging out. And next minute, here he is. Michael showed me his hemorrhoid the first time i met him oh yeah michael loves showing everyone that at new farm park mm. i don't remember that but i have shown a lot of people hemorrhoids <laughs> so i believe it <laughs> man we are so autistic kind <laughs> The hair is fucking. It does send you. The just, hair it, is there. Cut <laughs> 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 on the back. <laughs> oh. 
I watched last week's podcast and the mohawk. There's literally two strands that would, as soon as you'd move them, go straight back to your eye. Yeah, and like when so I, you couldn't like get away from it, you just kept doing these over and over. And during the prank call, I inhale and then they sucked in and they were tickling the back of me. Cunt. <laughs> Uh, next question is from Demon Badger. <laughs> you look like a bird. Demon Basher. <laughs> um, what's an idea that you guys filmed and released that you weren't sure about, but it ended up taking off? Rock roulette? <laughs> <laughs> Rock roulette? What the fuck? We're just fucking fucking around. It was literally, it's like it was literally you- a drunk game that we used to play, a drinking game. Rock ruler, would be standing around the circle drinking, and then someone would throw a fucking massive rock in the air, and we all just stand there laughing, <laughs> drinking, <laughs> and that fucking took off. You, f- that's a drinking Dude, game. I remember that we had like little ten-year-old kids sending us clips of them oh, throwing yeah. rocks <laughs> and sticks up, <laughs> and it landing on their own heads. <laughs> and then one kid like fully had to go to emergency and shit. Had a full Dude, cracked skull. It's dead. Oh, did he die? <laughs> yes. The one kid is dead from Rock Roulette, so I really Bullshit. regret. <laughs> <laughs> you got you, cunt! We all I'll fucking prank the shit out of you, cunt! Oh, oh, God. All right, two more questions left. <laughs> um, um, this is from Brie Firth. Uh, she's asking, uh, what tattoos do you guys have and what's the story behind them? Do you have a lot, but... Uh, I won't so show that. I won't show You're about to show all, but you can just tell. Yeah, um, hang on. Okay, so um, here I have the HIV positive tattoo and a boy throwing a rock at a dog. Um, and then I have goose laying an egg. Uh, and then I've got some, obviously, the crocs on me fucking feet. I've got a tramp stamp on my back. From a, it's from cute. A video. It's a very cute pony. <laughs> And um, a line and up a your leg. line up the back of my leg, also for a video. <laughs> oh, I've and got- the end of the letters D A on my eyebrow. The rest is scrubbed off. Oh, do you? Yeah, from that Daryl slap video. Oh yeah. I've got the shoes, a, a mate's name, uh, an ex's name. <laughs> um, I did that. <laughs> a, a massive line up my leg. A love heart. Um, <laughs> And that. fucking what else? I can't think of the other ones. A unicorn. Oh no. Uh, oh yeah, unicorns on the shoe now. But yeah, just yeah. silly ones. Just silly. It's too hard. We said it about last. Uh, I'm thinking about ago. just going. We don't know how what sleeves to get. I'm thinking. Oh, about you just, didn't you just have hand and foot or is that my idea? Is yeah, crop circles. Foot. I'd get something crop circle re- related. Yeah, I'd just get like cool patterns and and shit. I, I just, I'm thinking about just going into a tattoo artist and just being like. Giving him a few things that I want it to look like-ish, and just being like, "Go nuts, come too." But like, everyone's got a sleeve these days. Yeah, you gotta, they got to be good. Now. I sort of, I think I prefer now the look where it's patched tattoos. You should check out um, Angelina Jolie's tattoos and wanted. She has kind of crop circle-y stuff on there. Anyway, I might make a call. Should All right, we- last question um, is from James Kirkpatrick. Fucking hell! This is a tough. Oh, on the equipment. <coughs> <coughs> we coughed at the same. Watch this. Powerful. All right. This is a tough question, so be prepared. Um, if you guys could choose to be in either Jackass or Dirty Sanchez, what one would you choose? I think Jackass just because um, it's it'd be easier. Oh, dude, the Dirty Sanchez rips all over Jackass. So, yeah, I'd probably go. And what Jackass did make a lot of money. So did Dirty Sanchez, but... Yeah, Jackass was reached a higher level. More, yeah, it, there's four movies on it now. It depends. Yeah. Like I think money they're wise, equally... Oh, there's, dude, good, there's good from both. If you very want equal. for, like, ultimate fucking stunts... Dirty Sanchez. Well, it's just that. But like, there is graphic. There is a graphic. whole new level. Yeah. Like, there, you can't, they're in a whole new I think Jackass is grade. quite, I find Jackass more entertaining. Just more, more but. for, more for the masses. <laughs> Jackass and is more dumbed down see, for the masses. Dirty Sanchez is like way up more my alley because mm. it's fucking gross. 
and then Jackass have production, which I like as well, one percenters. But um, but yeah, but yeah Dirty, Dirty Sanchez, Sanchez is, uh, only had the one film, but like that's just because you know it fucking. Dirty Sanchez just has a level audience. Left. Like not many people know about Dirty Sanchez, like they do Jackass, but they're good on in their own different ways. But yeah, probably money wise, Jackass. It's all about the money for you, isn't it? Hmm? It's all you fucking care about. Well, fucking, it helps. Yeah, I want it to. <laughs> That's it. All right, guys. What we're about to tell you will shock you to your core. Uh, <clears throat> this will probably only really, it's, it's not even that, that crazy, but to the, to our Australian fans, I think you'll understand. Okay. I think you'll understand. But, um, right before we were, we were poor as fuck, right? Let me set the scene for you. We we're poor. We we're, Michael and I had to share a fucking bedroom with Bosley where we'd fucking Uber on the weekends and then just film during the week. We were in a lot of debt. Life was shit. Okay. Then we met Justin Ryan. Okay, he lived close by. All right, like two streets. Away. I can't even remember how we met him. We met him at that event that we everyone hated us, where I ripped the condom off. Oh, the oh ad. man, yeah, we've told that story, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's when we met him. <clears throat> And I was seeing, you know, he does his fucking videos where he gets lots of hate and pretends to be gay and pretends to be straight and gem gem blah blah blah. So, but I I, I thought there was a, a, a an untapped potential there with Justin Ryan if only he had someone to guide him. So for a while, okay, Justin Ryan would come over. I would have the video outline, and then we would film the um, video. <laughs> edit it and post it and then it was a certain type of video like what were some of the things that we made him to do to begin with we did an interview with dr phil yeah so so we edited it so that you know the face filter you can make your face look like someone else you just use their photo so he was gem gem and justin ryan so like and and pretended he was on dr phil for an episode he showed us how to make toast for an episode he showed us how to fight for an episode so just shit like that all right so just shit that was like it was obvious that Justin knew he was joking, right? So it was different from the usual fucking, oh, this guy's just trying to fucking wind up the public. And let me just say that Justin, he's not a, he's, he's a very nice kid. I love the guy. He's a very nice boy. And he, he, he's not, he's not a, anyone like he's in the fucking videos in real life. He's just a really nice guy. He just fucking knows. He's like the biggest he's troll. He, he's the fucking biggest troll. And he loves the hate. He, he loves, loves stirring. He fucking loves it. We tried to steer him away from that a little bit. And then he even started doing music videos. So <laughs> my, oh, Michael would take him to a <laughs> location and then they would... Rap, rap and film <laughs> about like fucking money and he'd have co coins and <laughs> like all these fucking dumbest fuck shit we went to so on so many excursions there was one time where i was trying to find the perfect film location and i was there walking through sewers with justin ryan just me and him trying to find the perfect sewer walking through them they're like proper head height you can walk through it the whole way yeah there was another time i remember where <laughs> He was, like, the whole video was about why he was trying to tell people that he's important because he's come back in time. He has a time machine. <laughs> and was, remember the one where he was like, you were driving and then he was just on the car, the passenger car door was open and he was keeping up being a cat or something. <laughs> Some of these videos are fucking like, they are so ridiculous that we, Michael and I personally were like found this process fucking hilarious. We made Justin, like we made his videos so fucking dumb and then we'd post them and see the people's reactions. It was fucking hilarious. It was like being a little puppet master, but also trying to help Justin, trying to rebrand him a little bit so that it wasn't so fucking hated. And it started working. It worked. It start, people being like, whoever's fucking editing these videos, doing these videos, these are much better. And it, it, you start to see some love flowing in the comments, but that Justin just couldn't fucking help himself from posting his own he'd, he'd stuff. He'd go yeah. live and call out other social media influencers, like people that were our friends and stuff. And we're like, no, man, we can't, 
we, that's why we told him no don't ever tell anyone this and and because we thought we'd be because we we're just starting out in social media and we didn't want anyone else to hate us or think that we were associated with him because you just get hated via association and then the video that fucking spoiled it all we we're filming the um filming a, the gem gem one and at the very end of the video justin goes to shake gem gem's hand and i took gem gem's hand and put bosley's hand instead and so he shakes bosley's hand a close-up of it and that's the end of the video and then we post it and i get a message from Lockie, lucky fucking jackson's lucky and he's like dude are you like making justin ryan's videos and then i was like fuck they're on to us. <laughs> and then we, that plus he was, he, he, he couldn't was help doing himself. doing his own vids too much. Yeah, he was, he kept doing his own vids, calling out like Marcus Dibble again and all that shit. And I was like, nah, sorry, we need to, yeah, I can't, we can't risk being hated by people. You know what I mean? But now I look back and some of those videos are fucking hilarious. Yeah. And I tried so hard to find the hard drive oh. and I will again. Okay, I'll go home and I'll look for that fucking hard drive so we can put some into the podcast. Comment if you ever saw any any of those types of videos. Some of them, like, there was the fighting one. Remember, he's like, I got him to, like, and I'd always replay shit real fast. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> and, like, come on, come on, come. He's, like, fighting at the camera. That one got, like, a million views. Yeah, a few went viral. Yeah. He was so happy. That's why he enjoyed it, because he was going viral as well. Yeah, exactly. And people were just genuinely laughing rather yeah. than, than hating it. It was good content. But anyway, fucking, we don't give a fuck anymore we want people to know justin ryan we fucking we did some videos for him and it was a fucking shitload of fun and he's a really nice dude yeah we'll get him back on here yeah we should get him back on because what's he been doing i think he's been doing he's been doing only fans heaps and shit and he you know he'd message me out throughout these oh can you help me make facebook videos again but it was just like we were just too much much on on now it's just too much on Sorry. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you but know what I mean? yeah, great guy. And yeah, comment if you have seen our past vids we've done with him. Yeah. So I know some of you probably fucking hate him, but and fair enough. He's he's trying to get that reaction from you. But just know that he is actually uh, like a nice dude. And yeah, he's a great troller. So fucking. He's literally famous because he's so good at trolling. You've got to respect that cunt. It's cool. He's a cat on the back. <laughs> 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 All right, time for the next segment, which has been renamed to. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Yeah, dude. man, my headset fell off. <laughs> That's how you know it's a ripper. Did that hurt? Yeah, man, my <laughs> neck's in cramp mode. <laughs> my, my neck's cramping. <laughs> my neck's fully cramped right now. <laughs> so painful. <laughs> this really hurts. Oh. All right, time for the my oh, no, it's in this segment where we show and I can open your fucking gifts and we saw the outpouring of support comments for the PO box. So it remains. We will continue to open your gifts yeah. live on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Big fat one. Christmas Big fat time. one. This is from Sabrina. Mark, you want to work on this one? Time. Something for everyone. Something for everyone. Matthew. <laughs> the podcast is just gifts. Oh yes! I literally oh. was saying to Michael, "Do we have any more lollies left from Nikki's package?" And he was like, "No, we're all out." And I was like, "I fucking hope." That's that there's some in here and there fucking is Sabrina yes sent Sabrina sent some milka a big old block of milka uh. alright um, you go first alright so I've got this um, a little package there's a big let- note in here and it's sent something a Cooper torch and it's got like these chains I- I'm assuming that it's related to this letter so let me just read this letter Diary entry number 30,465 by Matthew Gregory Brown. Okay, so it looks like he's found one of your diary entries, Matt. How would he have one of my diary entries? That doesn't make any sense. Look, sometimes I email him around when I'm drunk. You're fucked. (laughs) This message is from the future. It is I, Matthew Gregory Brown. Well, I haven't done that. So maybe this comes from the future as well. And I'm begging for your help, Marnie and Michael. You must save me from myself for the safety of the women of Australia. (laughs) (laughs) My little brown had laid dormant for some time. I discovered quite by accident that concrete enemas dampened my lust significantly. Unfortunately, Wholesome decided the way I was using their equipment was unwholesome and fired me. Now I have relapsed and faced de-browning at the hands and scalpels of the government. I took part in a charity golf tournament raising money that would be used to help capture sexual predators. They would never think to look for me there, I thought. But when I arrived at the team, my caddy was her 
Olga, the rife heifer my loins have sung hymns of lust for for the last 24 years. My brown sprung forth like a hydra, flowing, growing three extra little brown heads as it dragged me across the green towards her. I'm going to, I'm going to brown, I bellowed as my little brown vomited up my muddy mat slop all over, all over her and my pristine golf clubs. I browned all over the green. The green was stained with my formerly wholesome sponsored mints. She screamed and ran away. Would you like to get a cream cheese bagel with me sometimes? I sometime I bellowed as I wrestled with my writhing brown. Needless to say, I'm currently sat in maximum security as I write. Amazon now offers delivery to the past, so I'm sending this parcel in the hopes you can change my destiny. You have my retroactive consent to hold me down and encase my little brown in this chastity cage and whenever the, whenever the need arises. P.S. I've also included a handy rape alarm for me to activate whenever I feel the brown leviathan rising from the depths as to warn nearby women. That is so fucked up. <laughs> this guy's sent a chastity belt from the future, Matt Brown. Can we put it on, but we, just for us to look at, Matt? Maybe for the OnlyFans. Maybe and, for the boys' And trip? this is some sort of rape whistle. This is literally some sort of rape whistle. What the whistle. fuck is... Oh, wow. Oh, look. Cock in there. Wow, it's literally like a dick cage. That's so whack. That's pretty cool, Matt. This is for you. Hey? You always like it when you get stuff in the P.O. box. Oh, oh there you go. look. It's a There's chastity a lock. belt. It's a chastity belt. That's sexy. What is a Cooper torch? It's sexy. Anyway, yeah, I hate fucking. You. I hate everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Dude. very much for that. And who knows how many lives that guy just saved? For oh, part Little two. German this hat. is part two of the first one. Remember? Yeah. Oh, I've got a big old German hat. Yes. Big old German hat. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, you have wear to this wear that. Hat. That's I'm gonna beautiful. wear this everywhere. Oh, that is actually quite nice. I will oh wear that God. everywhere. What do I get? Ooh. A coloring in book. Holy shit. The Stoner, the Stoner Activity, Activity Book. book. <laughs> oh, oh my God. What'd That's you get, so Matthew good. Brown? Thank Brown, you, Sabrina. Brown, 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 Brown. And. Oh, here we go. We got letters too. All right, with the letters and shit, we'll, um, we'll read them in our spare time. But just know that we fucking love you guys for sending these in. Oh, here uh, we go. Sabrina sent a, an actual fly. <laughs> That's such a good wow, sentence. Wow, a German fly. You want to see what a German <laughs> looks like? Can I see it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, we'll read the note letters in our spare time, but thank you fucking so much. This one's right? for both of us, but I'll open it. I've got a die-cast model caddy to go with my and other things that I Oh, wow, Matt. Look, Matt's been sent... Is this from Sabrina? This yeah. got sent a little golf buggy to hope, hopefully motivate him to get back out on that golf course and don't ever give up, Matthew Brown. I, I thought it was a <laughs> bomb and that. it is. No, it's not. Imagine if it was and that's how this podcast ended. No one would even know what we're talking about. Dude, oh, perfect. Wow, that is oh, it's perfect good. for the table. I know, she oh. knows. That's hot. Oh, Thank you, Sabrina. Oh, should I put him down here with the little aliens in the middle? Oh shit, man! That's, that's how I want him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, people sending sending us alien shit. That's we'll good. We'll fix him up. That'll be good to show to them one day when we meet them. Marty and Michael love Cindy. It's an envelope, a big yellow envelope, and it's got something chunky inside. Imagine if she'd cut off her breast nipple. We have fake. Beer? It looks like real beer, but it tastes like dish wart. Oh, that's cool. Like a little prank. So you put ah. this powder in a glass of water and it looks like beer. And then you say, hey, mate, <laughs> would you like a nice cold beverage after a long day of harding, harding work? Sure. And they hand it to them and then they drink it and they get sick. Very that's ill. Perfect. That's a good prank. Highly ill. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Cindy. Oh, fuck beautiful. yeah. They're good. That was good. I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. Let me enjoy some Milka. <laughs> milka. <laughs> oh, mm. oh, speaking of Milka. Reminds me of my childhood. Oh, can I piss? Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a big bit. Oh, thank you. Big. Big, big. I think it melted and reformed. All right, guys, it's time for the next segment of German segment. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, 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 everyone. Ach du lieber, ach du lieber, Deutsch, Deutsch, Deutsch. Milka. 
And this is a segment where Michael will read out a very common German phrase, as a normal German would. I'm going to try and guess what he's saying, and then I'm going to read it out how an actual German would read it. Okay? Simple. Alle die, what a clockly! Fuck, that sounds... Alle die, what a clockly! Sounds like Irish. It sounds like you just... I gotta get angry. Wait, new sentence. I don't know what Someone do comment and say, they think you're focusing too much on the, the anger. Oh, okay, so I'll try and be like, yeah, imagine yeah, just... a, a nice woman, a mother, a mother German. Yeah, a soft, gentle person. Mm. Just give it a go. Just be loud. Or just, no, I, just even just read it how you would read in English, and then I will correct it okay. when I read it as an actual German. Das ist der Spring, der nach Punkt. Again? I understand more of it. It's weird channeling like a fucking German mom. Das ist der Spring, der nach Punkt. Very deep, husky voice for a German mother. <laughs> das ist der Spring, der Punkt. Das ist Herr Splink von der Punkt. <laughs> you fucking make it so weird, dude. Das ist der springende Punkt. <laughs> das ist der springende Punkt. Punkt, Punkt, Punkt. It's fun to say, isn't it? <laughs> Which my alarm was punkt. this. Punkt, 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 I was punkt, like, punkt, punkt. Which means that is the jumping point. Which means that's the point. That's just the spring of the punkt. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Very good. Ooh, kapati. Yeah, I mean, it yeah, no. came back to you. Boomerang, man. Fuck, Because it knows cool. I'm German. German words attract to German. Ich kann nur Hör uns. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> ich kann nur kehr uns. I have no idea. That, that is like a really northern German dialect you're using there. Really? Ich kenne mich hier aus! Ich kenne mich hier aus! Ich kenne mich hier aus! Which means I know my way around this area. So if we're driving along and you fucking someone's like, oh, where do I go? You could say, Ich kenne mich hier aus! And they would say, be relaxed. Imagine German TV shows and German fucking. Yeah, man, there's lots of them, eh? <laughs> there's plenty of German shows that I used to watch, and you have to turn the volume right down. Why? Because there's lots of yelling and lots of screaming. It's German television, man. You oh. don't give a cunt a gun. <laughs> you don't give a cunt a gun. There's cats on my back. Ich sehe so ein Verdick. That did sound a lot like my late grandmother. Oh. Oh, 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 Ich sehr schwarz für dich. Just strangers walking by your yeah. house. Yeah, would, would say that if they were German. <laughs> did Nikki send us some new ones? Oh, she did, yeah. She so. sent us like a German quiz. Oh, I think we've done them. I think we've done all the cards. So from now on, we start the quiz starting next, next fucking episode. Okay. <laughs> and also, don't forget to DM in your fucking secrets. Let's do secrets. Yeah, secrets. secrets to to fucking Marty and Michael for the actual the Instagram account. Okay, I want to get back into that seat. Let's break some of these segments apart a bit. All right, let's fucking amp it up a bit. Let's is that it, is it that up. all? Let's fucking spruce shit up, man. Yeah, we just got prank call <laughs> and then we're deliver. Oh, <laughs> oh, we'll fucking and fucking remember, guys, comment, give it a like. Fuck, man, like I know I'm begging, but 
and it's like pathetic and uh and it's like oh i don't want to watch this guy keep begging me <laughs> but it's like <gasps> come on <laughs> just give it a like <laughs> help us help you just give it a like and give it a comment and maybe i don't know maybe subscribe okay and maybe go back to last week's episode give that like so he has to try the golly ball okay that's all i'm asking for man that's it and subscribe to the website okay subscribe though it's 10 bucks a month so buy some manscape shit come on i'm not asking for come on follow us on instagram what that's not that's not much tiktok like it like our page on facebook share the videos do you, do you know what i buy 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 shami's merch send us <laughs> <laughs> buy some making memories merch please send us some rad shit for the p.o box some shit to the p.o box okay follow our backup account on instagram Watch our TikTok videos, share them to your stories. Instagram, Matt runs that. Uh, buy some raffle tickets for the giveaway. Join our email com. list. Join the email list. Share anything on the um, fully actual Instagram so, and I'll reshare it. You know, see us in the streets, give us a bit of money. <laughs> give us just $5, some coins, I don't know. Yeah, no, no coins. All right, yeah, just I'll notes. Have coins. Matt will take your coins. Uh, he'll take the bottles. Yeah, plus <laughs> All right, fucking here's the prank nah, call. I'm just joking. Anyway, here's a prank call. And now the final segment. The, uh, the prank <laughs> call. I like that. And this week, we're going to call a sex shop and say that I've accidentally pushed a butt plug so far up my missus' asshole that it's gone. So Darren's coming out for this one. Yeah, this sounds like a job for fucking Darren. And Michael's going to be the my missus. The moaning, crying. The moaning missus. The moaning missus. You can hear more missus, man. Okay, anyway, all right, let's try, let's try, let's try. <clears throat> all right, so we have to be a little bit panicked, but not too bad. Hey, g'day, how you going? Um, my name's Darren. Oh, look, oh, last week, right, I came in um, and bought just a bunch of um, butt plugs from you. Um, and I've just uh, started... Uh, uh, it's okay. I just started uh, using a couple with my missus and um, one's just gone. Like, I can't... I think it's gone all the way in. And, like, I don't know what to uh, do, like, right now. Like, I thought I thought it's not meant to go all the way in. Like, I thought it's meant a bit of it stays out, but it just, it just went in straight away. Okay, so if that's the case, they asked us to stay a little bit out, but unfortunately, the only way you're going to be able to get that out is through Fuck me. either transition out yourself or go to the ER. Yeah, look, I can't even see it. Like, I, I tried to put my fingers in, but it hurts her. It's fu- she's fucking crying. She's fucking, like, in pain right now. Like, I can't go to a bloody emergency like this. Like, my fucking... Parents will fucking find out or something. Is there something like you've got like lube or something that I can run in, get, and maybe like I can lube, lube it up or something and then try and pull it out and that? You could give that a shot, but again, like your best bet's probably going to be the ER. Yeah, look, it's. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, they, look, what would I even say to them? If I went into fucking ER, right, and the fucking doctor, like, don't they have to, like, don't we have, don't they have to tell their guardians and that, that, like, that, that she's in there? Like, Is I can't. She a minor? No, 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 no. She's twenty one. She's twenty one. So no, no, it's all G. But no, like, no, I just don't want her parents find it. Contact her parents unless she's under the age of sixteen. Okay, Rob. Right. Oh, fuck me. Like, I can't go in there like that. Like, they're gonna think we're fucking nuts or something. I'm gonna have to bring her in. I'm gonna. Oi, Tracy. We're just gonna have to go in. All right. Do you reckon you'll be able to sit in the car? <laughs> Okay, well, right, sweet. Well, look, we're just going to have to come in, all right? Maybe if you can... Um, is there something like... Has this ever happened before? Like, do you guys have something there that can maybe help us get it out or something? Uh, not really, other than lubricant, sorry. Well, what do you mean? How can you, like, sell these butt plugs and, like, it's just gone like that? Like, I put a bit of pressure on with my thumb, right? And gone. She's just sucked straight up, huh? Like, the, the whole bloody end's just completely gone. I, can't, I haven't seen it for, like, five minutes. It's just bloody up it, and she can't push it out even. There's no even, like, warning signs and that on the bl- on the butt plugs, right? It's just it's just bloody bit of pressure. It's gone. Fuck, and she's gone. Can't see it no more. How can you be bloody selling that shit? Sorry, it depends on the size, unfortunately, like... That's not something that we can justify for you. You guys, you guys, you guys got to start putting warnings on these bar plugs. You guys got to start putting warnings on these bar plugs. That right? That's the first time we've used one, and it's fucking, it's, it's fucking Gornskis. Like that's the first one I've used, and it's just gone. It's sucked straight up her ass. Okay, I understand your stress, but. 
it's it's not my fault. Yeah, no, 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 it's not your fault. I'm saying maybe the the, the place you work for, the corporation, right? Oh. I bet it doesn't even pay oh. bloody taxes, right, in this country. Bet it doesn't even pay taxes, and they're selling bloody dodgy bloody butt plugs that yeah. just bloody suck straight. Like they're so slippery. Like I touch it, I nearly drop it. It's so slippery, right? So he's got to have some sort of like grip grip or like some bloody bits coming out of it, right, to stop it getting sucked all the way in. Because right now it's completely gone, and my missus, she's in real pain right now. You know what I mean? And I have to bloody come in now with her. I don't know how I'm going to get her in the car. I might have to just slide her on the back seat on her belly and come on in and um, we'll see if we, we can get like some lube or some other. Do you have like a pair of tongs or something there? The sex tongs or something? No, unfortunately we don't. So as I said, like lubricants really the only thing. Um, lubricants are supposed to stop at the end, like where there's yeah, it's all right. Okay, it's not that bad. It, and then it's there's a little crying. sort of stink. The the lube should stop before that stick. Okay, so, but if it's gone, like, if it's gone right up her, like, surely, surely she'll just, like, poo, poo it out eventually, right? In, like, 12 hours or something. Like, worst case scenario, if I can't... You could try if I can not like, there's a chance of tearing, you would have to go to the ER. Oh, yeah, fuck, that's definitely going to tear, but, hey, shit. All right, well, fucking hang on. Let me see if I can dip my fingers in and just fucking pull this out right now. One second. Oh, Trace, come here. Stop fucking moving around. Stop moving around. I'm going to get it out. One second, all right? Fuck. Hold still. Hold still. It's going to start fucking... Get your... get it it's gone that's fucking gone right all right we're gonna have to come in hello are you still there yeah so again there's nothing that this store can actually do for you you're gonna want to call an ambulance mate, I, 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 might I'll be able to retrieve it but we can't mate, I, 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 can do. I cannot call it like it is so embarrassing right i'm gonna i'm gonna we're gonna come to the sex store right now right i'm loading her up in the truck and we're gonna come right in all right so get ready in the next five you minutes sold it, you, fix it. You, you sold us this right you's got to help me fix this all right you guys got to i don't know like my fingers my fingers are massive right i've got like big fucking fingers maybe some more petite fingers or something help her get put your pull it out do you know what i'm saying like get your little fingers in there maybe you can grab it because i touched it just then i felt the end of it right but i think i pushed it in deeper I guess illegally, I can't even help with that. You got gloves. Right? You got, you've got gloves, but I've seen the gloves in there. I, I don't know what else to do. I'm going to have to come in, all right? You have to call a paramedic. I'm sorry, we're, I'm coming in first, right? And if you can't help, if you can't help get it I'm out, the then I'll call a paramedic. I will do that, all right? Because I'm responsible, but I am not going to embarrass myself like that and call a fucking ambulance right now because they'll fucking come in and think I'm fucking something fucking wrong with me, right? I'm fucking, can't fucking, 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 fucking deal with a fucking, I'm fucking I'm take it to an emergency or some shit. Get fucking looks by all the fucking, all the fucking doctors that the fucking x ray can't fucking looking at me. So I can't fucking deal with that fucking shit. I've got to fucking get this, I'm fucking, fucking, we'll be in about 10 fucking minutes, bro. Screams. Again, unfortunately, legally, I can't help. All right, okay then. All right, well, I guess I'll call the paramedics. Okay, thanks. No worries, see ya. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Do you reckon they thought that was real? Yeah. Oh my fucking oh. God. What did she know was going on with the screaming? Oh. <laughs> it was the sickest scream. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do your scream and talk as me yeah, at the same time. I know. <laughs> 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 yeah, I fully dribbled everywhere. I think that was me. Anyway. That was probably one of the best. You were fucking actually grabbing at my arm. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be real. It has to be real. I'm a meth <laughs> an actor. <laughs> and that concludes episode number 24, Skin. Guys, don't remember, if you want to see Michael attempt to do a shot from the golly bottle, episode number 23... Last week's episode has to get to 3K likes. Okay, I'm not going to give up on this. We have to get that video to 3K likes so that Michael has a sh <laughs> shot of the golly bottle. <laughs> I don't want to see it, but I do want to see it. Yeah, I want to do it. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to. I don't want it. Want to be here, but I want to. I want to. I want to be here. Yeah, dude.
You know what I mean? I get it. And everyone else is the same. It's like watching a fucking car accident. It's like watching a f- two families in two vans have a head on at 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah. There's kids and bodies just smooshing against steel. And you know it's bad. It's not good, but you'd watch it. But you want to watch it. And that's what this is. Okay, so go back to last week's video. Give this one a like and drop a comment, of course, as you usually do, as just a little bit of a thank you. But then go to last week's video if you haven't and fucking give that one a like. All right, that's all I'm saying. If you guys want to see some fucking crazy shit, cunt, fuck me, cunt. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the motherfucking best, man, man. Best. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best. Beep, 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 beep. We're the best. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. Oh. <laughs> oh. Big, long, red pube. Like your sister's. Anyway. All right. See you in the later. <laughs> Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe, okay? <laughs> no, I guess that's what we're doing. No, 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 no. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out, all right? I know it's the very end, but just please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? There's still shit on this seat. Still. Yep. I haven't anyway, watched it. That was ages ago. We're the best. That'll do. All right? Yep, we are. We are the fucking best. Don't. Just watch the whole thing. Watch the whole podcast. Twice. <laughs> Please, like I'm begging you. Man. Why twice? I don't know, man. I think that pumps it. That pumps it right up, cunt. <laughs> if YouTube sees, it's a me. hack in the algorithm. Fuck these cunts love this episode so much. They're watching it twice. I'm gonna show it to their sisters. Yeah, you watch, man. It's a little hack. So, uh, please, I'm begging you, man. I'm on my knees. I'm on my hands and knees right now. Really? Like, yeah, I'm honestly, I'm literally on my hands and knees right now. Okay. Begging you guys to please watch it twice. All right. We're the fuck, best. Yeah, we're, we're the, the best. best. We're the fucking best. Oh, God, we're good. Please. <laughs> this is a queen wave. With a sex toy. All right. We're the best. No, actually, <laughs> watch it a third time. <laughs> <laughs> I can All right. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, you're done, you're done. <laughs> 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 uh.